Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen and today we are in San Sequoia and I'm doing yet again another family home for you guys and this is different than the normal family homes that I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of like suburban homes and this is definitely definitely has a suburban look to it but it's technically a craftsman style home. I love doing these types of homes as well. I just don't really do them that often and um, I really wanted to build in San Zucoya and I guess over like they had the they used to be called EA Game Changers uh, EA Creator Network uh, people <laughs> they had them uh, design the homes for this expansion pack and I think it was Little Simsy that design the craftsman home that is in this neighborhood that I'm building in now. It's not in this exact lot. It's over in a different lot in this neighborhood. And I really wanted to build a house that matched the other houses in this neighborhood. And I, I, I know how to build craftsman houses. So I thought that was perfect. And um, it came out really cute. It's definitely a family home. So quite a big family lives here. Um, I think I ended up being able to fit in four bedrooms so there's two parents one or two parents it doesn't have to be two parents and um, a child a toddler and an infant I just can't help but to make an infant's room in every single build that I do <laughs> um, ever since they added the infants I just love them I adore them they're awesome I think they did a great job on the infants and that's not something we can say about the Tim the Sims team very often um, but we need to give credit when credit is due. And I thought they did a really, really good job on the infants. And so I love designing like nurseries and stuff in my family's homes. And um, this nursery, actually, I've been kind of stuck on how to design nurseries in the last couple of builds that I've done. But this one is definitely unique. It's not something I've done before with the nursery and I love the colors. I'll talk more about it once we get to the nursery, but it it uses that wallpaper from Seasons that kind of looks like Animal Crossing. You know, it gives Animal Crossing vibes. I use that wallpaper which was literally the first time I ever used that wallpaper. So I was really happy <laughs> that I was able to use it. Um, and I also put a couple bikes out here. Uh, these are for kids. I know like there's only one kid that lives here, but the toddler, once the toddler grows up, he'll be able to use that other bike that's there. And uh, the floor plan for this house, it's, I almost had to put the door in the kitchen for the bathroom and I, I absolutely despise doing that. And I was able to figure out a workaround to where I, it's like the bathroom door is right off of the front door, which I don't love either, but it's better than like all of your Sims having to walk through the kitchen to use the downstairs bathroom. And something else I really wanted to make sure I did was using different colors than I usually do on the outside of the houses. Um, I don't normally do like a paneling mixed with, uh, I don't know, what do you call that texture? Um, that texture right there, that's not break. It's, I guess it's a type of paneling, but it almost looks like a roof texture. I don't ever pair those two together, the different textures like that together, but I decided to do that and I think it looked really good using the same color but different texture I thought it just it worked out and I thought it looked really good so I wanted to keep it and I also um, don't normally do the stairs in this way but the shape of the house was kind of um, forcing me to do the stairs like this and which I don't hate I mean I love you know finding different ways to do the floor plans and the staircases and everything in the houses you know and by the way right now I'm just kind of placing filler furniture in to see exactly where I'm going to place the certain furnitures at you know so like trying to decide I almost did this front part the living room and that other part right off the kitchen the dining room because that makes more sense for the dining room to be right off of the kitchen but the living room just wasn't going to be able to fit in that front part and so I had to put the dining table there instead and these bedrooms up here so this bathroom like that little piece right there that's in the roof I actually made use of that area 
and I made that the upstairs bathroom. There's, so there's four bedrooms and three bathrooms and um, the parents have their own bedroom or of course they have their own bedroom. They have their own bathroom downstairs as well, like a master bathroom. I find that's something I do in almost all my builds. I make sure that there's a master bathroom in the bedroom. But, um, and also we had these random like rooms <laughs> in the house that I had to make use of and I decided to make them into walk-in closets for the Sims. That's something else that I do pretty often um, and I love doing it. I love having a walk-in closet. I don't have one right now, but when I lived in my apartment, I did and it, it was huge and it was awesome. <laughs> and it was the only time in my life I ever had a walk-in closet. And so I love doing that for my Sims for some reason, if like the floor plan allows it, it really depends on the floor plan. And so if there's extra rooms that I really don't want to be bathrooms, I usually, if it's right off a bedroom, I'll usually make that into a walk-in closet. And here I am taking some time putting these lights on top of the posts, the, the uh, fencing posts again. I love the way this turned out in the last build that I did like one of my new crest base game builds I put the lights on the post like that and I thought it looked great and it really looks good uh, at nighttime too and um, I also put a tree house on this lot and ever since those came out I love using them I'm just not crazy about the trees that are attached to the tree house what do you guys think? Those trees are kind of ugly and I'm not sure. I haven't really looked around San Sequoia that well, but I want to say that they don't even match any trees in San Sequoia. <laughs> um, they might. I mean, don't get me wrong. They might. I don't know that for a fact, but just off the top of my head, I want to say that I don't ever remember seeing trees that look like that. So I don't really know why they ended up going with those trees. Probably just for ease. I mean, they needed tall trees that didn't have a bunch of like bushes on the bottom, I guess. And so it just happened to be like that. It, it happened to be those ugly trees. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely no offense to the Sims team. Uh, they do the best that they can and someone probably thought those trees look good. Uh, you guys might think those trees look good. But in my opinion, I don't I don't love them. I think the trees that actually come in the build bike catalog are much, much better. And uh, I guess really they couldn't have used any of the trees. I wish they would have figured out a way to use the big oak tree, you know, and somehow put the tree house on that. I don't really know how they would do that, <laughs> but um, I'm sure they could have figured it out. And here we are in the kitchen. It's a pretty standard kitchen like I always do. I did make use of that little like Dutch oven thing that came from one of the kids. I think like that country kit, <laughs> the country kitchen kit or something, which I know guys, I probably really shouldn't be using these kits. Uh, I know not a lot of people buy them and I do want to build houses that everybody can buy, but sometimes I like to give myself free access to just go crazy and use all the packs, you know? And right here, I had a really good idea of putting some candles on the windowsills, and I loved the way that turned out. I thought that turned out so pretty. And I also ended up putting a shed outside, and I did, in fact, put a candle maker out there. And the, those are the candles that you can make in the Eco Lifestyle um, Candle Maker kit thing. <laughs> Um, so I think whoever lives here, either the mom or the dad, probably the mom, if she's a stay at home mom, she needs some sort of hobby. And so I thought candle making was cute. So she loves to candle make. And I also don't really make use of the candle maker myself. Um, I really don't play the game very often to be totally honest, but when I'm building, I don't use it when I'm building either, like ever. I don't know if I ever have, maybe once or twice. And I really wanna make uh, an effort to use more different skill building items than just the typical chess table and easel and you know, the typical skill building items. I want to just broaden my horizons and use all sorts of different ones. And I thought the candle making one was perfect, especially pulling out 
the candles and putting them on the windowsills in the kitchen. I did um, want to make sure that I put some candles elsewhere in the house. Um, in the parents' bedroom, I put some up on the computer table, I believe. But I'll get more into that once we get over into the parents' bedroom. As for the kitchen, I just want to point out that yes, I did bring out three lunch boxes. <laughs> I don't really have any idea why. I probably should have deleted one when I ended up making one of the rooms be an infant, but I don't know, maybe a uh, dad takes a lunchbox to work or something, you never know. It's there for when the toddler gets older, <laughs> they're just preparing ahead. So we're over into the living room now and I really wanted to use a different couch than I normally use. And I almost went with this paranormal one, but I ended up deleting that I believe. I just couldn't make the colors work and I ended up deleting that and I replaced it with this dream home decorator couch right here and I think this one's really cute too. I love the couches that have the pillows like that you know. It just makes it seem so homey and realistic. Something that a lot of people will actually have in their living rooms you know. And um, I'm just rearranging the living room, <laughs> trying to make it work. I really wanted to use these paintings from Tiny Living, I believe. I think they're super, super cute. And I ended up sizing them down like this and just placing them on top of the computer desk. And I think that turned out really cute. I love sizing stuff down and putting it on top of a desk or a bookshelf or something that has kind of like a shelf on top of it and it looks like it's just paintings just sitting up there and I need to download the tool shelf again I or the tool mod I mean I used to have that and I used to use it all the time and what I would do is these pictures like that I would use the tool mod and kind of make it look like it's actually leaning against the wall that's just an extra step that I haven't really been wanting to do <laughs> and so I, I've been avoiding downloading the tool mod but I need to download it again for sure because it unlocks so many different possibilities that you can do and I also want to re-download the actual like the red shelf the old SMP <laughs> or something like that you know the red shelf I need to download that again as well because I've just been using the nine and zero keys uh, to raise and lift items and I believe it's just so much easier just getting that red shelf and using that. Um, I know from experience that it's easier because I used to use it but I just I'm kind of lazy when it comes to mods in my game and definitely custom content and that's why I don't use any custom content. Not saying I'm not going to use any in the future, but it's just I prefer a vanilla game for some reason. I don't know. Uh, they do really good with the build buy and the create a sim, and so I don't really find a need to have to use custom content. And too much custom content in my game I really hate, to be honest. I hate seeing my townies wearing 101 different facial piercings and... A bikini in the middle of the park you know just random stuff oh by the way guys we are over into the dining room now and that little um, the pet bed right there for like dogs or cats you're probably wondering oh I'm sure that doesn't work um, can your sim even walk by it can your pet even lay on it and yes it can I am happy to say that when I was testing this um, my sims dog just went over there and laid down on its own so that is fully functional. Your sim can walk past it. Your dog or your cat can lay on it. And that food bowl is also playable. Really everything I play tested this whole build. So everything you see is 100% playable. I did have to move around that pet bed a little bit. You'll see that here in probably just a few seconds. I have my little sim come over and try to test it out. And so I have to move it around a little bit. But... Yep, just right there. <laughs> Nothing too crazy though. That, she was able to walk past it at that point right there. And also this bathroom right here, guys. Guess what? I did something different than I normally do. I didn't just do a shower, a sink, and a toilet and call it a day. I ended up doing half like laundry room in this bathroom. Which, yeah, I probably have done that before too. But I haven't done a bathroom layout particularly like this before and something else that I haven't done is place a little tiny trash can next to the toilet but I thought that was such a realistic touch because I know I have a trash can there and most people 
have trash cans next to their toilet, you know? There's women feminine products, there's the empty toilet paper roll, there's all types of stuff you need to throw away in the bathroom, so... It definitely was a realistic touch that I was happy about, and that wall right there was just blank and I needed to add something. The only thing that this bathroom doesn't have, well, it, it does, it has a mirror right there, but it's not over the sink. And I usually always, always put a mirror over the sink, but it didn't work out that way. It ended up having a, a window there instead. The window's kind of glitched out right now, but it, it doesn't stay like that. <laughs> And um, by the way, if your windows or your doors ever glitch out that way, literally all you have to do is click on it and then place it back and it'll fix itself. That happens all the time. I don't know why. Maybe it's a move objects thing. I'm not sure. But um, we're over into the parents' master bedroom now. And this is the computer desk that I was talking about when I end up pulling out some candles to place up there. I just place it on that little... That little ledge right there that I'm trying to place these fake candles on, um, I wasn't able to leave those there because there was a little bit of a gap. Something that the tool mod would also help with, <laughs> but um, I'm stubborn. And so I ended up making, or I ended up pulling out some more of those candles that your sim can just make themselves and place them on top. And I thought it looked really cute. It definitely gives the vibe that mom loves candles and she loves making candles. And I just feel like this house probably smells so good. And it makes me want to actually light my candle right here next to me. <laughs> I think I'm about to do that. Well guys, you probably could care less, but I, I lit my candle. <laughs> Um, anyways, so now that I got my candle here lit next to me and it's nice and relaxing here, I'm just going to continue with the build. <laughs> um, so we did just get the parents' be bedroom and the bathroom done and the bathroom's really not too special in the parents' bedroom. Um, I tried to make it match with their bedroom, you know, the bathroom and it, it's, it's fine. It wasn't too extravagant or anything oh by the way I don't think I mentioned the ceiling fans I also put a pendant light in there I think is what they're called and um, I love doing that I love putting lights in the ceiling fans because it just seems more realistic than a ceiling fan that doesn't have a light every single see I'm trying to remember but every single ceiling fan I've seen in real life have had lights so I don't really understand the concept of not putting a light on the ceiling fan um, is that something that is common where you guys come from where they don't have lights in the ceiling fans because I don't think I've ever seen that but anyways we are working on the child's bedroom and of course it's all pink and cute and so I figured a little girl lived in this room and I love the way this room turned out, okay? Um, it's not, it's, you know, pretty unique compared to what I've done. I've done, you know, walk-in closets and stuff before, but I would love this to be my closet in real life, okay? This is like so cute. And then I also put one of those chairs in there, like that little section right there needed something. And I didn't know what to put there, so I ended up putting that chair there and it has those lights wrapped around it. I think that is from the high school years pack and I just think this closet turned out absolutely adorable and I also put like some makeup there and like some like that hair <laughs> I'm having such a brain fart um, that hair dryer oh my gosh like I've never used a hair dryer before so I put a hair dryer there and some makeup and a little cute turtle plushie from the Nifty Knitting Kit. I love those things. And I also used one of those octopuses. And I think I put it in the the infant's room, I believe. Is it? I don't think it's octopuses. I know that that's probably not a word. I think it's octopi, isn't it? I don't know. But um, we are over into the little toddler's room now. And I thought he was a little boy. And so I wanted to make it like really sportsy in here even though like how much can a toddler really be <laughs> into sports but I figured uh, the parents of this house probably love sports they love football um, 
I kind of feel like the dad in high school might have been like the star football player and the mom was like the star cheerleader and stuff and so they really really love sports and so they kind of make it known in the little boys room that they are a sports family <laughs> and this room by the way is really different than what I normally do. The shape of it's very unique um, and I just, I've never really dealt with the room this shape before, uh, not in the style that I've, I've have it in right now. I kind of have the nightstand off on that wall right there that's, um, diagonal, and I thought that was a pretty cool touch. I mean, that toddler would definitely be able to use that bed. I know sometimes if you place the nightstands too close to the toddler beds, then the toddlers have a hard time. But I don't think that there will be a problem with that. I actually didn't test that. So I guess this isn't 100% tested, like I said. But most of the stuff is tested. I mean, there's no way the toddler wouldn't be able to get on that bed. I would be so surprised. All of the questionable stuff is what I tested. And so we are over into the nursery now. And this is, like I was saying, this is pretty different. Like, look at that wallpaper. It's so vibrant and, like, teal. And it definitely gives Animal Crossing vibes. I think it's the leaves and the color. And so I definitely, I wanted to, I knew I wanted to do an infant in this room, right? But I wanted to do something different. I mean, we have a girl, we have a boy. And so this is kind of a gender neutral room. So you can definitely have a little boy or a little girl infant in this room. And oh, by the way, this little area right there that's like the tent and I put the stuffed animal and stuff in there, that is playable. I tested that. Your little Sam will like sit in the plushie that's there, <laughs> the big plushie, but I mean, it works. So who cares if there's a little bit of clipping, you know? And so this walk-in closet, I didn't really know what to do. Um, so I had the random thought of putting the changing table in there and I think it turned out really good. I think this nursery is just so cute and this little bookshelf that's there too. I love that white like blocky modular looking bookshelf. It's so cute and I love that there's actual like slots where you can put items on there and it just makes it look really full and stuff. And so here we are over into this other bathroom. I actually made this bathroom into like sort of like a sportsy kind of bathroom. And so it has that soccer mat there and the shower curtain has like a baseball on there. And definitely is true to the whole family loving sports. And um, these, these, this window right here, I didn't know the type of curtain I wanted. Um, but I came across these ones I, I think are from Parenthood, I think. And I thought they worked pretty well. They matched pretty well in there. And so I, I ended up keeping them. And now I this hallway that's there, I ended up putting like just like a little table with uh, some books there. And above that, I put some family portraits. There's no portraits in there right now. But if you download this house and you play in this house, you can put your own pictures in there. So that was the whole interior of this house and now we are on the exterior. So in this porch out front, I just put a couple like benches out there and also I put one in the back right here and I just put like a little centronella candle out. Okay, so the centronella candles I took away and I replaced it with like a candle plus a thing of flowers. I thought it just added an extra touch and I thought it was cute than just the centronella candle. And I also put like a little chess table and an easel. And this backyard definitely turned out different than other backyards that I have done in the past and in a good way. So I kind of used the floor pavements to mock a realistic look. So you know how in gardens in real life we'll have the pavements and there's like grassy area in between the pavements. They're not like right on top of another. There's kind of like a space. So that's the idea that I had while building this exterior. And also, by the way, all of that garden right there, I wanted to fill the tree house up underneath with like gardens and like flowers and stuff like that. And so that tree house is still functional. Your child can slide down it, it can climb up it, and I believe it can slide down the pole as well, like the little like, 
I don't know, the fire. Like, it's like the poles, you know, in the old cartoons. I think um, they would have, like, the firemen slide down poles and stuff. I don't know if they really slide down poles in real life or not, but that's what that pole looks like. <laughs> and I really, really, really wanted to put a pool in this house. And so I was able to make it work. And I used these circular platforms to make like a circular foundation, um, like the not foundation, but the pavement is circular. And I love the way that looked. It's kind of mixed with like some of them are square, like you see right there. And then around the pool is like circular and stuff. And I just think this backyard slash side house, because it's not really in the back, uh, turned out so cute. And this shed right here, it was really blank in this area. And so I had the idea of adding a shed and that shed I end up putting, I put the candle maker in there for sure. And oh, I also put, I came across the, uh, like the little hamster thing. I think that's from my first pet stuff, which I know is a controversial pack, but I've had it for like ever. <laughs> and, um, I, you know, I just had a random thought. I know I was talking about something else, but you know how they're making all these packs for free? Have they made the My First Pet stuff free yet? Or I don't think so. They really need to make that one free. Uh, but anyways, in the shed, I do the candle maker. I do that little hamster guy. And I think I put a bonsai bush in there. Uh, maybe I squeeze a treadmill in there as well. I can't remember 100% sure on that, but we'll find out here in a minute. And I made sure to add some lights in my pool. In the last build I did, I forgot to add a ladder on the pool. <laughs> it was a base game only build. And I made sure to add that ladder this time. I never forget the ladders. And so I was really surprised when I forgot to add the ladder in my last build. I was doing like, uh, I already got the screenshots done and I was getting it ready to post on the gallery. And that's when I noticed that it didn't have, um, a ladder to the pool <laughs> and I think I just left it that way because really your your sims don't have to have the ladder to get in and out of the pool they're smart enough to actually lift themselves out of the pool now unlike the sims 2 uh, but that's partly I kind of loved that about the sims 2 that you could put your sims in there and remove the pool ladder and your sim would drown I know that sounds really cruel and really morbid but I had a lot of fun with that. Like, sometimes you just get tired of all of your sims, you know? And you just need to kill some off. <laughs> okay, anyways, let me just change the subject. So, out here, um, I put a grill out by the pool. And so, I didn't want to add one out there off of the patio right off of the house. And so, I kind of just put, like, a little loungy area right there with some tables and well not some tables a coffee table and some chairs and those chairs are from backyard stuff i believe which was free here recently so hopefully you guys snatched that up while it was free but anyways guys we are fastly fastly approaching the screenshot so i really hope you enjoyed this build if you did definitely like this video so i know to continue making family homes and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did definitely subscribe if you haven't already and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young. And it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine We wanna chase the night Wanna dance to the light Pull the stars from the sky Just two hearts running wild Never sleep, never stop Every shot from the top We're gonna, we're gonna be Two hearts running wild
Decía 